Hey, it's Antti. Adobe just released a new update for their Photoshop and there's this new thing called Select Subject. So let's check it out what it is all about. Intro. And before we go any further, Please check out the upcoming Digital Artist Masterclass. Uh, it will be coming in a few weeks. Uh, in the description there's a link. And also you can download my most used Lightroom preset bundle there. So check that out if you want to get some cool presets for free. But now let's go to Select Subject. Alrighty, let's check out the Select subject thing what it does and how how good is it, it is and so i've selected a couple of images so let's just see what it does so here's the first picture um just a stock image in a way in here there's a new uh, section now in select and subject you all know this focus area where it kind of looks for the, the things that are in sharp and the color range but now we have a select subject here and you just go ahead and click that and let the sensei technology do the thing. I think it's searching for human figure or something that is sharp, kind of the main thing in the picture and makes you the selection. And let's make a mask out of that so we will see what kind of work it's going to do with it. Um, for kind of a quick mock-ups this will work. Again you will get the subjects uh, cut out easily but as uh, just to use only this you'll see that it's not doing that good job so you will always need anyways bit of tweaking to the image so you'll have to go again to these mask and select things and start erasing those but anyways after one click you can uh, separate the characters and the people from the pictures so I mean it's you know as a composite stuff I mean, uh, of course, it's kind of a fast and slow workflow, but but anyways, you have to do some additional stuff. At least, for example, this picture. Let's check out another picture. Here's a bigger group. Uh, there's a group of people and even a dog. And let's see what the sensei technology sees in this. Select subject. thinking thinking and we will get a mask all right it's so selected basically all the characters not the you know way the holes here and some stuff but you know as a starting point that could be a good place to start to kind of a, doing your own masking i still prefer using pen tool and and select a mask for the uh, transparencies but you know it's not that bad to kind of start out as a composite. One more a studio portrait, select, subject, thinking, 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 and then boop, we will have a selection here. I think it could do a bit of better job with these because there's a different separation, so it's not definitely seeing. You can see that the edges are not here on the other hand the edges are smooth uh, but you know as a composite i could kind of get this image and just lay out stuff again i as i said i prefer pen tool to use my stuff but for getting getting the cutting out the elements fast and kind of a composite stuff this could be you know fastening my workflow too so there's still um, a long way until you just just click and it will just magically select everything. Let's try a one more picture. Just let's check out some of my stock images. For example, let's take that. And there's a bit of a more clear stuff here. Select subject. So it definitely is looking for a person here. So, but now as you can see, it's kind of a cut out the hands away. But I mean, did reasonably good job to kind of select a character in there. So 
as a starting point again. Technology is going forward. I really like what Adobe is doing and bringing that Sensei technology into, especially for the search engine. You kind of a, it kind of predicts what you and it's kind of a it's a machine learning, so it's always learning your processes and stuff like that. So not definitely something that I would use as a um, other than in a composite world that I have to mock up stuff really easy because I have to go and clean up those edges. So pen tool it is for me still and then the, uh, select and mask afterwards for the transparencies but you know it's an update and I think there was a couple of other updates about screen resolution stuff and some windows uh, uh, surface things and but this was the main update and so this is how it works and hopefully you get some something out of it and I'm looking for always anything new coming from Adobe happy happy so if you like these videos put a thumbs up as, as always write a comment have you tried out this new select subject thing what do you think about that and always of course subscribe the channel it will make me more happy to kind of provide these kind of videos for you guys and i will see you on my next video cheers